civilian population is digging for victory. Every square inch of space that can be used for growing food is under intensive cultivation. Nothing is too small, nothing too humble. Every ounce of food grown at home means home security. Here we see some members of the Home Guard working on their allotment. Hello, what's this? They've spotted a low-flying enemy plane. A lucky escape for Jerry. But it's pigeon pie for supper for the boys of the Home Guard. Sir, it was uh, tuned in like that. It, uh, it's the Vickers. Good heavens. Well, there must be some mistake, sir. All the same, I think we'll have to watch him. Right. His sermon last Sunday was most seditious. Oh, really? Do you really think so, sir? With Hitler just across the channel, I think he could have picked a better subject than the parting of the waves. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've got a Major Regan from Area HQ visiting us. Oh, yes, sir. I expect it's because we're on coastal patrol tonight. Yes. Now, look. We're responsible for the area, from Stone's Amusement Arcade to the Jolly Roger Pier. Now, that's our weak spot, the yeah. pier. I think we ought to have our best man at that end. Who's on first? Uh, see, now, uh, Fraser and Godfrey, sir. Ah, who's the better of the two in your judgment? Well, in the normal way, I would say Godfrey, sir, but you see, he's got this unfortunate... Uh, <laughs> Bladder trouble. <laughs> yes, it's rather risky. Yes. Jerry could invade while he had his back turned. Yes. <laughs> All right, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, sir, they're here, sir. The, the uniform tops have arrived, sir. Oh, that's good news, isn't it, Wilson? Bring them in here and I'll take them. What do you know business to? Wish we got the pick of those. Yes, I quite agree, sir. Permission to speak, sir. Uh, not just our corporal, we'll follow in. in. They couldn't have come at a better time, could they? I'd agree, sir. Instead of looking like partisans, we're going to look like something out of Fred Karma's army. <laughs> hey, why you fell in? I never told you to fall in. Fall in! <laughs> Damn. What's the matter, sir? I knew we should have got here first. Oh, they left me one without buttons. Oh, Lord. Look, they're man of the same. Let me say. Platoon! <laughs> for Mr. Speak, sir! Uh, not just now, not just now, Corporal. Platoon! <laughs> Have none of these jackets got buttons on? No, no sir. Button. That's why I want for Mr. Speak, sir. Well, they usually come separate, sir, you know, with those little ring things that hold them in. Oh, well, this won't stop us. We've got plenty of buttons at home, and this is just the sort of moment that brings out the very best in our women folk. I want you to parade back here in 45 minutes, by which time I expect to have everything absolutely buttoned up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nice little joke, sir. Very good. Oh, nice. Never a heart was in the right place. Two ready for inspection, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Right, sir. 
That cap badge, Walker. One and six, sir. I beg your pardon? <laughs> you want a kid out of hell, Mob, it'll cost you 14 bob a dozen. What regiment is it? Anything you like. Cold Stream Guards, uh, Grenadier Guards, RAMC. Don't you understand, Army. Walker? To wear a badge you're not entitled to is an offence. I wouldn't have called it an offence, sir. A bit of a liberty, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Walker, take it off. <laughs> I come off my old patrol coat, sir. I haven't worn it since Jutland and the moths go tacky. <laughs> Lucky you didn't get woodworm, too, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a rather flamboyant, aren't they, Godfrey? Uh, my dress stud, sir. That's all I could manage at the spur of the moment. I'm afraid the diamonds aren't real. <laughs> Stand at ease. Well, now, men, I'm sure you'll all agree that this is a great moment. This is a great step forward in our progress towards fighting efficiency. And it couldn't have come at a more appropriate time. Because tonight, we are responsible for a very vulnerable stretch of our beloved land. We are responsible for England, from Stone's Amusement Arcade, to the Johnny Roger Pier. <laughs> now, there's 15 minutes before we move off to our guard post, the Novelty Rock Emporium. <laughs> and I think that time can best be spent in smartening ourselves up and checking our weapons. Corporal, yep. call the men out. Yep. I think we're going to check our own. All out! I agree with you, sir. It's a good idea to do that. So I'll bring them bangers in in a minute, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, what have you got here, sir? Oh, that's nice, kosh, knuckle duster, bicycle chain, sandwiches. Do you hear me? Oh, but, Mum, it's such a silly colour. No, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mannering won't mind. You don't think he looks silly, do you, Mr. Mannering? Well, <laughs> colour is perhaps a little bit startling. Well, he must have something to keep him warm if he's here on coast watch all night. And I made them just before the war for the Bunny Babes dancing display. Now they make lovely balaclava helmets, don't you think? Yes, they do. They're lovely. Yes, lovely. Oh, I am glad you think so, Arthur, because I brought one for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Please. And one for you, Mr. Mannering. What? Oh, no, 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 it's very kind of you, Mrs. Pike, but I really think not. not. The, uh, the ears wouldn't go under my helmet. Now, don't be silly. I'm going to cut the ears off. Now, you come along and try this on. Oh, no, 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 no really. I'd rather have this on. Arthur, Look here, put baby. your ears on. What's that, really? It's really a bit rather I don't want you having any more trouble with your chest. That time you went out on manoeuvres, you were awake all night with your coughing. You said? All right, well, I'll try. <laughs> right on, it's very really appalling, all this. Just mm. snip those ears off. Oh, well, that's not bad. I can't see what I'm doing up there. You'd all have to get down a bit. <laughs> hey, that's a bit better. Major Regan, sir, from area head, what? <laughs> 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 She was just about to cut our ears off. <laughs> <laughs> I really made them for the bunny babes. I see. And she thought they'd make rather good balaclava helmets. Pink with ears on? Well, I'll leave you to cut the ears off. I'll just be running along. And I'll away and get into my Winnie the Pooh outfit. <laughs> <laughs> my Lord, yes, you look troubled. I'm sure they're all very cosy, but pantomime clothes are not very good for discipline. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the discipline here, sir. It's absolutely first class. Oh, Mr. Murray. 
Sorry, sorry, I nearly forgot. There we go. Now there's half a dozen eggs. Half a bar of milk, chocolate. Oh, Sergeant, there's your fags. Right, thank you. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll settle up later and... Uh, Haven't you forgotten something? I'll take your order later. You've forgotten to salute your commanding officer. <coughs> oh, yes, sorry. I'm sorry about that. What's going on here? There we are, Mr. Manring. There's six pounds of best sausages there. <laughs> We've got enough to put the whole troop. I'll put some fat in and have a nice fry up about two o'clock in the morning, sir. Rank, man, rank. I beg your pardon, they were fresh this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you can explain, Captain. <coughs> well, you see, we're just about to go on coastal patrol, sir. You look as if you're going on a damn party. Oh, you see, these, uh, these little extras help keep up the men's morale, you see, sir. The best way to keep up morale is with discipline and efficiency. The BGS has appointed me to inspect training and battle drill in all our home guard units in this command. And I'm going to start with you. Oh, well, uh, you'll be very welcome, sir. We're... We're very proud of our progress, aren't we, Sergeant? Yes, we are indeed, sir, yes, sir. Uh, <coughs> what sort of things do you want to see, sir? The lot. Use of weapons, aiming and firing, crawling, use of cover, map reading, first aid, bayonet fighting, physical fitness, unarmed combat. Splendid. Well, we're ready for you. Any time you like. Now? Ah. <laughs> well, that, that would be a bit awkward, you see, you see we're, we're, we're just about to go on coastal patrol. Tomorrow morning? Well, uh, Wilson and I have to open the bank at 9.30. What about the rest of them, Wilson? Well, sir, Lance Corporal uh, Jones, the butcher, sluices his slab down at 8 o'clock. Not that he's anything on it, to understand. He's just some <laughs> old habits die uh, hard. <laughs> and, uh, Fraser, uh, Locke and Wiper, they've all got shops, you see, sir. <laughs> Godfrey, Godfrey's yeah. retired. You can inspect Godfrey. Uh, not tomorrow, sir. It's his, it's his uh, pension morning. Oh. <laughs> tomorrow evening, then? Uh, yes, why not? At 1800 hours. Hmm? <laughs> Six at last, sir. Oh, yes, yes. Excellent, yes. Yes, look forward to that, sir. I think you might get quite a surprise. I very much doubt it. I think we'll have to watch him, Wilson. Yeah. His eyes are too close together. Need a hand in any kind place. It's Everything ready, Wilson? Yes, sir. As far as it can be in the time, sir. Oh, I do hope they quit themselves well. They're a yes. grand bunch, but oh. I have so much to do that there are serious gaps in their training. Yes, well, I wouldn't worry too much about that, sir. While you were planning the grand strategy, I've been teaching them quite a lot myself, you know, in my own quiet way. <laughs> Major Regan, sir. Ah, ah. Good evening, sir. Everything's ready for you? No bizarre trading today, or is it early closing? <laughs> Would you like to start the inspection now, sir? Before they all forget their party pieces, eh? Lead the way, Sergeant. Yes, sir. All right, squad. Squad! Squad, come! <laughs> May we carry on with our training, sir? Please do. Stop. <laughs> That's all right, sir. Well, carry on training. What's this? Current affairs, stand up, man. Stand to attention. Why aren't you in uniform? I'm the caretaker. Get out of the way. This is a military inspection. No, no sir. These, uh, these men over here, sir, are studying uh, aircraft recognition. Why don't you try some of them out, sir? Do all the men learn it? Oh, yes, definitely. And there's no set piece. You, boy. Right. What plane is that? That's a Heinkel 111, sir. Good. Show the next diagram. That's the only one we've got, sir. What's the good of only identifying a Heinkel 111? <laughs> Usually around here it is a Heinkel 111, sir. <clears throat> we did ask for more charts, sir, but your people were not very helpful. Well, of course, they're in very short supply. Hmm? I'm not used to being spoken to like that. That's all right, Hummel. All right, we'll talk about it later. If I tell the vicar, he'll turf you all out, 
That is a war on, you know. That cuts no ice with his reverence. He's not at all happy about the way the church premises are being used all, for warlike all purposes. All right, all right. We'll talk about it later. There was no need for him to go on at me like that. Limp. Now, don't be cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> now, here, sir, we're learning the rudiments of map reading. What's this? A judge for a steeple. Give the map reference. One eight. Six or four, three. It'll be Methodist, I expect, sir. What's that? A railway cotton. And that? A water mill. And that? A wee speck of dirt. There it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. You. Yes, sir. What's this? <laughs> A map. <laughs> well, sir, we've got the uh, first aid section. First aid over here. Uh, how do you do? How do you arrest arterial bleeding? Uh, well, tourniquet the pressure points. Here and there and there. What do you have to remember about a tourniquet round the throat? It kills the patient. Hey? <laughs> use the thumb and, and relieve the pressure every few minutes, sir. Uh, was that what sir had in mind? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Now, sir, there, these two men over here, sir, are practicing unarmed combat. He wouldn't come at you like that. He's trying to kill you. He's after your blood like that. <laughs> now, that was your liberty. You're lucky I didn't put a boot in. <laughs> Coming along nicely. You didn't have to do that. Oh, my men are very keen, sir. If you value your life, you won't trifle with them. No, sir. Shall I uh, pull the men in and have a, have a more formal inspection while we, uh, <laughs> while we get our breath back? Yes, please do. Yes. Right, well, fall in. Three ranks. Three oh. ranks. Come on. Three ranks. Bearing Jones in mind. Go easy on the drill. No, that's it, yes. All right. And he is. Squad. Cut. No arms. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. They were together. How did you manage that? Well, we they're all taking Jones's time, you see, so we thought we we couldn't beat him, we'd better join him. <laughs> well, I suppose you're all wondering why I'm here. The reasons are very simple. The whole guard has got to be made into an efficient fighting unit. There's no room for mummy's darlings. Slackers, dodgers, spivs and drones, or elderly gentlemen amusing themselves. How old are you? Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Sixty. House. <laughs> Sixty, eh? You've got a lot of medal ribbons. What are they? I don't uh, recognize them. A bit before your time, I expect, sir. <laughs> I don't mind showing you, sir. We can't hold in that place, sir. <laughs> there we are, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all general service medals, sir. And there's seven. That's the Egyptian campaign, 1884, 1885. And eight, that's the Cadiz Star, sir. What's number nine for? That's trying to leave General Gordon, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you must have been very young when you wore that. Yeah, well, I didn't have my stripe. I do remember that, sir. Hardly surprising. You'd be six. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I might have dropped a year or two, sir, but I'm perfectly fit, sir. I can still get the old cold steel in there, sir, and that's the point, sir. I'm perfectly fit man, sir, you see? Ah! Oh, well, I have got it. Oh, you've got it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. I don't suppose you've ever fired it. <laughs> uh, I <have> now, sir. <laughs> Well, let's see some of this fighting spirit. <laughs> Order! Up! <laughs> one, 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 two, two three. three. One, two, two three. three. One. one. Fix bayonets. <laughs> I think they gave me the wrong one, God. Jones, for heaven's sake, mind where you're pointing the thing. Do somebody an injury. Well, he's usually very good, sir. I think you're making him nervous. 
I don't like nervous soldiers. Right? <laughs> Let's see how good you are at bayonet fight. All right, uh, Fraser, Walker, Pike, over here. Uh, oh, oh, these young men can take care of themselves. You two, I'd like to see you two. And you. Yes, sir. Did you see that target there? <laughs> yes. Charge! <laughs> Not bad, Godfrey. Fine when you're fighting uh, bags of straw, but I want to see more guts. You, charge! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, I swore. Good! <laughs> you thought you were doing that to a Nazi, didn't you? Oh, no, sir, just uh, somebody uh, I don't like very much. <laughs> Corporal? Sir? You? Yes, sir. Now, that's an Nazi. See what you can do to him. Yes, sir. You dirty Eden swine. You looters, rapers, ravishers, despoilers of womanhood. You... Ah, my glasses have got a bit steamed up. <laughs> What are the rules of aiming? Keep the tip of the blade of the foresight in the center of the circle of the rear sight and in line with the center of the target, sir. Good. Well done, Pike. You, oh, no, what God, are right. the rules of aiming? Well, he just told you, sir. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, but, uh, keep the... Keep, 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 keep the foresight in, in, in line with the you. Uh, no, that's not it. Keep the foresight in line I with think the back. Uh, all I in want line to with hear. the you, Ben. Manring. And no. keep the no. luck. Okay, yes, that's right. very Man. rude. I was talking to him. <laughs> that man's making your platoon look ridiculous. Oh, he's as keen as mustard, sir. I think he's a very good example to the youngsters. I think he's a potential danger. He's just not physically up to it. Well, he's got the sort of fighting spirit we need. I should hate to lose him. You may have to. Isn't that up to us? Not necessarily. However, I'm going to make my report about your unit to the area commander. You've got a long way to go, but you've done well. Remarkably well. Congratulations. Good show, Manring. Thank you very much, sir. There's no doubt about it, Wilson. We acquitted ourselves absolutely magnificently. Yes, I must say, I was really awfully pleased. Of course, no one man can take the credit. <laughs> But it does make all my hard work seem very worthwhile. Yes, of course, one can't help wondering uh, who was the most surprised, Major Regan or you? <laughs> Why do you always have to spoil everything, Wilson? Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. go. Rotten bastard. <laughs> I beg your pardon. But, uh, Why? Look, yes, I know we've had our differences of opinion in the past, Mr. Manning, but there's no need to use that beastly language like that. Listen to this, Wilson. What's that? It's from J.H.Q. Good. Oh. And in view of the fact that Lance Corporal Jones's records clearly show that he is over age, we feel that he should stand down. It's that Major Regan. Yeah. He couldn't fault us for anything else, so he had to pick on poor old Jones. Mm. Well, yes, man, sir. I haven't finished it yet. Oh, there's some more here. Wait a minute. Uh, see. Uh, listen to this. However, in view of your strong personal views and the fact that Lance Corporal Jones has such a distinguished record of service, Major Regan has suggested that if Jones can complete the divisional assault course in 15 minutes, he should be allowed to remain with the platoon during the present period of emergency. <laughs> nice. 15 minutes? That's a bit steep, isn't it? Well, the infantry only had 10, sir. Oh, no, he'd never do it. Hmm? No, no. Regan just wants to see him make a fool of himself. Well... One of us is going to have to tell him. Yes. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> I saw you come across, so I thought I'd just pop over 
Right, you come over there, you are, sir. There's a pound of steak for you, Mr. Manridge, and a pound of steak for you, Mr. Wilson. Thank you. Very Thank much. you, John. I say, we showed him, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> sit down, gents, will you? Yes, sit down, gents. No, no, Thank you, sir. Wait, wait a minute. I'll get, I'll get it. I'll no, get it. Oh, no, 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 no. You sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you very much, sir. That's right. <laughs> I've got something to tell you, Jones. I'm going to get my second stripe, sir. Well, no, not exactly. I had a letter from, from GHQ, and uh, <clears throat> they feel that... Uh, well, the fact is, they, they yes, feel... Sir. They feel that you're overage, Jones. Overage? I'm only 70. <laughs> well, that's just the point. You see, they feel that 70 is over age. That's not fair. I can do anything the other blokes can do. I bet it's that snooty major. I bet it's him. I only wish I had him registered with me for mint. <laughs> He'd get it. But I'd cut it off a gristle. Yeah. I do that sometimes, you know, when I don't like them. I just sit at home having my Sunday lunch, thinking of them, chewing the gristle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jones. They want you to stand down. Stand down? Well, there must be something we can do, sir. What about the test, sir? What do you really think Mr. Jones is up to? What well, test? What, what test uh, is that? To the test. To go over the salt course in 15 minutes. Ah, ha! That'd be a bit of cake. Fine. <laughs> I really don't think you could manage it, Jones. Manage it? Of course I manage it. I'll show him. Look, I'll tell you what, sir. After parade tonight, We'll go down to the salt course, and I show them. I'll go through that salt course, just like a dose. I'll, I'll go right through that, sir. <laughs> and we'll show them. We'll show them, sir. Yes. They don't call me up from Jones for nothing, you know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by with the stopwatch. He'd do better with a grandfather clock. <laughs> oh, <you> bet. <laughs> now, Sam Wilson and I will accompany you around the course. Yes, sir. But before you start, I have to give you a message. And I want you to listen very, very carefully because I can only give it to you once. And you've got to repeat it to us when you come back. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir. The enemy's on the run. Send reinforcements. I am going to advance. Advance. You got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Stand by. Off you go. Hey! Oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Give him a hand. Yeah, let him up, Walker. Up you go. Oh. Push him up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right. Up. Right. Hurry up. Up you go. Up you go. Up you go. Oh, now, wait a minute, you see, he can't get up, he's stuck, you see, he's got his boot in Walker's pocket. Don't stand there, you <laughs> Come on, get up there. Right, no, 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 no. Hurry up. Come on, Joe. Come on, over you go, Joe. Come on, 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 Joe. Very good. He always left his rifle. Oh, Lord. Jones! <laughs> Jones, you left your rifle behind! Jones, you hear me? Jones! Jones! You left your... <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. Right, sir. Yes. All right, all right. All right. We'll take that as done. Now, come on, quickly. Round here, sir. Round here. Yes, come right, sir. Come lovely on. piece of tar. Yes, sir. Right, 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 sir. Do you think he should do this, sir, at his time of life? Oh, he's all right. All right. All right. Keep going, Jones. Keep it up, Jones. All right, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Very 
is he? Let me go. That's me. Oh, it's Uncle Jones. Are you there? Disappeared, sir. Disappeared? He can't have disappeared. He has. He's completely disappeared. Go in and find him. What? Well, don't you think you'd have more authority coming from you, sir? Oh, Lord, have I got to do it. Will you hold the top on for me, please? Jones! Jones, quickly. Oh, Jones, where are you? Jones! Are you all right? Jones! Jones, where are you? <laughs> Jones! Are you all right, Jones? What on earth's happening down there, Wilson? I can't find him, sir. We'll find him for... Where, where, Jones! 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 Answer me at once, Jones, do you hear? What's he doing down there? He's looking for Jones, of course. <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, how long's he been gone now? Two hours and fifteen minutes. Great, great. If you'd only cut two hours off his time, you'll be all right. Well, <laughs> nothing's happened to him. Uh, perhaps we ought to give him a call. You know. Mr. Mannering. Mannering. Duff. We all know very well a car hasn't done an earthly chance in the real test tomorrow. I'm afraid it's hopeless. It's a pity to lose him. He was a nice old chap. What about it? What about it, Joe? What are you looking at me for? Well, we, uh, thought you might be able to help. Well, what can I do? I mean, I can nobble greyhounds, but that's a different caper, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I can't make him run faster, can I? I mean, I can't doctor his oats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I... Wait a minute, I've got an idea. of you to do this, Lord Corporal Jones. Thank you, sir. Still, once an old campaigner, always an old campaigner. <laughs> hey, Major? He's an old campaigner, all right. Where's your helmet, Jones? Well, nobody said nothing about taking an helmet, sir. Sergeant, give him yours. Very often that's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Now we won't have any trouble spotting you, will we? Okay. Well, I'll just give you the message. Then off you go. And remember, you've got 15 minutes. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Well, here's the message. Send the following ammunition at once. 50,000 rounds of 303, 33,000 rounds of 300, 46 mils grenades, 203.7 shells, and 275 full throughs. Is that all, sir? That's all. <laughs> Right, sir. Oh, just a minute. <laughs> now, right, stand by. Sir. Go. Oh, 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 Heavens, that was quick. Yes, very quick. Good morning, good morning. We dance the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning. Here we are together, but the best of friends must part. So let me sing this parting song from the bottom of my heart. Good morning, good morning. We dance the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. Stay up late. 
message, man, the message. Yes, sir. Said before an ammunition was 50,000 rounds of .303, 33,000 rounds of .300, 46,000 rounds of .7 shells, and QCM5 full fuse. Amazing. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd never have believed it. Neither would I, sir. <laughs> What is this time, Major? Thirteen minutes. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I don't think we need worry any more about you girls. Carry on. Oh. Well done, Jones. I'm very proud of you. Just a minute. There's something fishy going on around here, and I need to get to the bottom of it. What? Oh! <laughs> well, he's gone too. Yeah, well, you always said his eyes were too close together, sir. <laughs> <laughs>